How to create a showcase with Vimeo. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step what you need to do to go ahead and actually create your very own showcase on Vimeo. Basically, you can just go ahead and use Vimeo, add um, like a few or a bunch of videos that you have. For example, if you are a video editor, you can just go ahead and add to the videos that you have edited. If it's other things like images and stuff, you can also do so. So you can feel free to add as many showcases as you want in that one particular showcase. And you can just go ahead and share it. Uh, it's just going to look like a landing page full of your work. This way, if you are trying to impress someone to, you know, to get them to hire you and so on, uh, there's many different uses for it. But yeah, uh, you can do that with Vimeo. And uh, yeah, to get started, basically, you would want to go to Vimeo.com. And I need to just show you one more thing is that you can actually try it for free. Now, yes, when you actually do create a free account, you will be missing out um, on a lot of elements. And we will see that throughout this tutorial. But at the same time, you will do get a few things. So, so yeah, it's not uh, that bad. So we can just go back um, and click on join here. And here you would want to create your account. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm just going to continue with Google because it's very easier uh, or much easier. I mean, uh, but you can feel free to create your account any way you would like. It's very simple. So I'm just going to see you in the dashboard. Okay, great. So once you actually finish up your signing up process, you should find yourself within this homepage uh, for Vimeo. Here you can upload, import, create, record, and host. And you have plenty of things to work with with Vimeo. So it's generally speaking a great platform to work on. It's not just for showcases, but there's plenty that you can use Vimeo for. But our focus today is going to be about showcases. So Within the home page, you'll find uh, this section here that is called showcases. So basically, you would want to go ahead and click on that uh, to create one. So basically, uh, once you're uh, in here, you would want to click on a new showcase. But if if you already have some, it's going to also show you all the showcases that you have created here. Um, yeah, so you have all of this down here and just click on new showcase to create a new one. Okay, so now is going to be the setting up process of the actual showcase before we even uh, do anything yet. Is a few things like adding uh, the title of the showcase. So we want it to. Um, I'm just going to name it a test showcase, but you would want to name it something that is related to what you are actually trying to show. So uh, go ahead and add a proper title for it. And in here, you would want to add a description that is going to describe exactly what people are going to be seeing within this showcase. So, for example, uh, this showcase uh, shows the uh, or my video editing skills or something along the lines of this. But, even, you know, more details and, uh, you know, more professional and stuff. I'm just coming up with random examples here. Uh, and then we have the privacy. So either it's going to be public or um, you would want to have password. If you want to hide it from Vimeo, you can upgrade to do so. Uh, but for the free version, you can either do public or passworded privacy. I'm just going to leave it as public. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, and then we have the SEO. SEO is going to be a great tool to have. Uh, however, it's going to need uh, an upgrade to actually use it. So, you know, you can actually end up being in Google Reserve results. So you can actually have a specific section here for SEO only. So, yeah, if you do, if you do, if you did upgrade already, then make sure to turn this on and go to the SEO section and set it up accordingly, because it's going to be a very highly uh, recommended option to get more uh, attention and views basically and once we are uh, pretty much set with the info and privacy here on the left panel we would want to have our focus on the right side here which is going to be adding our videos so here you go to add video and then you would want to go ahead and add the videos that you uh, want 
so this one is the one that i already have from uh already like from vimeo uh but i'm just going to click on save here first and i believe if we go to assets we can edit more stuff like the actual uh thumbnail uh logo and so on so we want to click on edit thumbnail and go ahead and uh so if you did select videos before I think I'm going to need to add some videos to actually show you how it's going to look like beforehand. So I'm just going to go back and add videos. Uh, basically, if you don't know what I'm trying to say here, if we go to the home page, we are required to have like the videos that we can upload to the showcases are the videos that we have from Vimeo. Basically, it's not from our devices right away. So to do so is very simple. Just add the videos from here. Click on select files uh i'm just going to upload this one just going to take a little bit of time okay great so once we upload it it should be in here so we have this one now and we have this one now this one is basically something that i didn't work on i just created a new page and i didn't work on it and this one is the video that i have just uploaded uh feel free to rename it to make things easier for you you would want to rename it from the actual, you would want to click on it, and then from there you can just rename it. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. And we can just go back to showcases, and you should find the actual showcase that we have worked on. It's not going to be removed. Uh, and then here you can see the same title, same description, same everything. Uh, now we would want to add our videos, so I'm just going to add both of them. So we have a little bit more variety. Click on add. And we should find, uh, basically, it says unlisted videos won't appear in public showcases because this one is uh, private. I didn't even realize it was, but yeah, I'm just going to skip this. Uh, but you would want to make it public so that it showcases in the actual showcase. So once you are done with this, you would want to go to assets here. And now you can do the thumbnail and stuff. So edit thumbnail, you can actually select from video. So for example, we can just select from video, select from this one, click on next. And it's actually going to show us like, for example, this frame, I'm just going to click on use this frame. It is going to end up being the actual thumbnail. Uh, and once this loads, we can also upload our custom logo just make sure you follow the uh the proper size here uh, which is 200 by 200 pixels and then the accent color which is also going to be you know you just think of it as your brand color it's just going to showcase in a different uh way i'm just going to go for a little bit yellow maybe or actually uh to upgrade your membership to save and share changes okay so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now, if I'm happy with this, I'm just, yeah, let's go. I think, I think uh, to actually change the accent color, you would need to um, upgrade. Otherwise, it's not really going to show us this. But regardless, we can just move on. Uh, the SEO, like I said, is not going to uh, make sure you save after everything. So SEO is not actually going to be available for free so if you have the free version you can't really adjust anything here so we can just move on to the next step which is web and in here we can actually go ahead and change the layout so we can do featured we can do default uh, dark theme or light theme and it's going to obviously add all the uh, videos that you have you can see that we only have one the other one is private so it's not really going to show up in here now you do get a few options here other than dark light theme and so on we can just go ahead and hide the vimeo navigation which is this one on the top right or not top right just on the top here so we can just hide it we can add our custom logo which you will need to upload uh we can add the accent color which we have chosen which i'm not sure even if we can just actually choose the color that we would like or is that premium Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Wait. Okay, so this is a preview. Okay, so now we have also the allow share button, which is this one here where people will be able to share it with other people. Uh, and also you have the ability to allow them to download videos, which is going to show. 
um, once you you know they have the ability to download the videos. So whether you want that or not is completely up to you. So uh, now if we just go to embed here, I mean we're pretty much done here. But yeah, we can just move on to the embed if you would like. And in embed you will have your settings here like playback, um, hide Vimeo logo, and all of those things. Just you know you will have some things that are going to require um basically uh, an upgrade and if you want to actually embed it you will need to go ahead and copy this but i believe it's also going to be a premium so yeah uh just set up these settings accordingly and then copy the embed code and then you can just go to your website like squarespace or whatever it may be and add it to the embed code section it's just going to actually uh, embed quite nicely on there um but you can just also change this uh, privacy for this one if you would like it's going to show in here uh and we are pretty much done with the showcase we can actually just go back to web we can view it here obviously you know you can only view it because it's premium and stuff uh but once you're happy with the things that we already have so light theme uh yeah we're happy with this i believe i believe also accent color is going to be premium so yeah whenever something shows on the top here after you do a specific thing that means it actually requires premium it's that simple so once you're happy with this we can just simply click on share and share it with other people and basically this is how to create a showcase within vimeo now like i said this is only on the free version where you will have a lot less customization options which is only fair uh, so if you would like just feel free to upgrade and then from there you will be able to uh, you know have a proper good looking um, showcase that is going to work well with your branding style with that being said I hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching